A local Wabash Valley college is crediting their COVID-19 policies to keeping its campus almost entirely COVID-free. News 10's Blake Dawyer is live in the studio tonight. He tells us how St. Mary of the Woods College has brought their case count down and kept it there. Patrice St. Mary of the Woods College has taken a different approach to controlling the pandemic. They say it's served them pretty well so far. While many colleges have mandated vaccines or charged extra fees to unvaccinated students, St. Mary of the Woods credits providing education, resources, and putting decisions in the students' hands to controlling the spread of COVID-19. Right now, between students and staff, St. Mary of the Woods College says they have less than 10 active COVID-19 cases. That's under 2% of the entire campus population. Erica Schweppe is a junior and residence assistant at St. Mary of the Woods. She says the low numbers have created a buzz in the air and excitement to be back full time. Definitely more high spirit than I've seen like last year. Um, so people are very um, encouraged um, now that we see like lower COVID numbers and higher vaccination rates. The school's COVID task force says over 50% of students and 65% of employees are vaccinated. What they credit their success to is not mandating the vaccine. They say putting the choice in students' hands has resulted in a positive response. We still feel comfortable that we're not mandating it. I know it's a, it's a big decision for some and for others it's not a big decision. And so we have taken the stance that we still want it to be voluntary and want people to do it on their own. The low case numbers have even led some students like Schweppe to feel like things are almost back to normal. She says things feel similar now to when she first drove through the gates of St. Mary of the Woods two years ago. It's about as close to like my freshman experience as I've had. Everybody is back out, they're active. Um, and so this is, it feels pretty normal around here. With that normal feeling, Schweppe says she sees a light at the end of the tunnel. Seeing our numbers go down from last year um, is super encouraging because that means that that's how much closer we are to like being out of that completely. If you're interested in vaccines, there are clinics available on campus for students, staff, and family members, as well as the community. That's Wednesdays from 9 to 3. Patrice, back to you.